All right, so now we're going to be looking at EDP and past paper questions and answers 2015. Number one says, Stephen and Susan Samaru have recently opened a plant nursery. They wish to use this information technology to complete some of their business tasks. Suggest so the most appropriate type of software that should be used to perform each of the following. A, design flyers and brochures. Now when, when it comes on to designing flyers and brochures, the desktop publishing software is what can or will or should be used. In Microsoft Word, it's called Microsoft Publisher. So it's not limited to these, this one that is, because you have this different software that is desktop publishing. Or does, does uh, the desktop publishing. All right. So Mac might use a different desktop publishing software, so not only Microsoft Publisher. But we use Microsoft Suite, so you know Microsoft Publisher would be the one that we use for desktop publishing, right? B, prepare letters and memos. Once you see letters and memos, you know it's a word processing software that we use for that. And in Microsoft, it's Microsoft Word. C, create receipts. And invoices, and from you see invoices, you know right away we're talking about a spreadsheet software. And in Excel, it's Microsoft Excel. Mind you, there is a template in Microsoft Word that can that can be used for invoices. So you can it's not only in Excel, you can use Microsoft Word. Once you use the temp template, once you use the template, I can show you after. We are finished with this revision. All right? Let us move to the next question. Number two, it says explain two main purposes of an electronic database management system, aka DBMS. The main purposes of a DBMS are to one store data in an organized format to allow data to be easily manipulated, summarized, or sorted. Most schools use a DBMS system. Why? Because it has a lot of students. And in order to keep up to date and to get information quickly on their students, teachers, and so on, they use an, a database management system. All right, so that's one of its purpose purposes. Number two, allow the user to produce reports quickly and easily. So once the teachers put in their grades in the system, of course, they can produce their reports quickly and easily from it. All right, I'm going to give you a third purpose as well. So any of these three any two of these three can be listed as two main purposes. All right? The third one, it is used to allow users to search large amounts of data, selecting data that match specific criteria. Let us move to number three, which says, in recent years, Computers have been used to complete tasks which are previously performed, which were previously performed manually. Explain two advantages and two disadvantages of this increased computer use. One you know is storage, right? So the advantage where storage is concerned is that the computers can store large volumes of information taking up less space than a filing cabinet. Right? Look at this that I'm using, a laptop. It takes up way less space than a filing cabinet that you store information on, right? So we have information stored on the laptop, which takes up very little space. And information stored in the file cabinet, which takes up a lot of space. Good. 
The disadvantage, damage to the hard drive can make all the data on the drive inaccessible. So once it is damaged, you know it is inaccessible. Second disadvantage, if there is no electricity, you can't use it. Yes, so the user cannot access the information on the storage medium if there is no electricity. All right, the next term that we're going to be looking at is accuracy slash less errors. Advantage, the computer processing eliminates the human errors. Since many software packages have a built-in spell check and grammar check, once you are using the laptop for, for argument's sake, or a desktop, or a tablet, it usually indicates when there is an error. If there is a spelling error, red line. If there is a grammar error, blue line, right? So you, when you're writing, will make mistake, and nobody picks it up. But the computer will pick it up. See why it is an advantage? Yes. So it eliminates human error, all right? The disadvantage now is that if the data is entered incorrectly, the output would not be accurate. Garbage in, garbage out, right? Another disadvantage, programs that include spell check and grammar check tools may cause persons to become lazy and or complacent and not check their work. I am guilty of it at times. Sometimes I just just do the, 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 the correction and move on. All right, but it does let us become a bit lazy and complacent. I would say complacent in my case. All right, another term that we will look at is speed, less time, and it's done quickly, getting done quickly. Advantage, processing large amounts of data is faster than processing using strictly human methods. If you use a system to process your data, of course, it will process it faster than you, the human who is doing it. Yes. So if you're writing a letter, it's going to take you a long time. Is that so? Okay. If you're writing a letter to mail it to, say, 100 people, yeah, you, right, you're going to be writing 100 letters as opposed to the system that you can use mail merge to produce those 100 letters. You write one letter and send it to the 100 recipients. Right? Very good. Disadvantage, due to the speed of processing, the pace of business has increased, which may cause increased stress level. So, because there is more productivity, because of the system, you have more things to do, which is stress. All right? Good. The next term we're going to be looking at is the is reliability. The advantage of that is that the security features incorporated in the computer system ensure that information stored is safe and accessible. Another advantage, the ability to back up information ensures that the ability to back up information ensures that Compromising that should be compromised. Something is wrong there. Yes. A duplicate is available, right? So it's still that you have a backup source. So if you lose it, of course, you can get it back. Disadvantage increased threats of attacks by hackers and or viruses may cause data to become unreliable. So if it is messed up because of some hacker or some virus, you can't get access to it, right? You can't rely on it if that's the case. Another disadvantage is that if data is not backed up, all information could be lost in the event of a system crash. And that's why it is important to have that backup. Email is an easy backup, you know. You know what I'm so? Yes, the email, it Email it to yourself. Your thumb drive is, yes, can be reliable. But what if it gets yeah. stolen or lost? 
Once you send it to your email, you can go back to your email and retrieve these files. So it can be a backup source. You can also use Google Drive, save them online. And again, you can access them anywhere. Once you have it online, it's cloud storage, you call it, right? Cloud storage. Once you have it online, you can access it anywhere. Once you have internet, of course. All right. We're moving on to the next question. It says, the table below shows a list of tasks to be completed. Using the list below, complete the table to show the most appropriate stationery for each task. So you have forms, memos, letterheads, labels, index cards, templates. All right. Which one would we use if we want to prepare a one-page letter advising new clients of the company's product? Which of those that were listed below, above, before? Um, no. Try again. No. Letterhead. But remember, letterhead is a one-page thing. That usually the top of it have the address and so on. Below it, at the bottom, you normally have like the products that the company produces or whatever the case may be. So letterhead would be the stationery for A. What would be the stationery for B? Notifying staff of an upcoming meeting. Memo. C. What would be the stationery for C? Addressing envelopes for the mass mailing of correspondence to customers. Labels. Like the sound and so on, right? D. What would be the stationery for D? Designing a standard layout for the company's new website. Templates. Right. Good. The answers are there. Five, Michael, a student at Carson Community College, was speaking with his professor about plagiarism and its effects. A, explain what is meant by the term plagiarism. Right, so once you produce a document that you get from someone else or the information that you get from someone else and you pass it off as your own, you are plagiarizing. So the term used for that is plagiarism, right? So plagiarism is taking or stealing another person's ideas and passing them off as your own. There are other ways in which you can say the same thing. Right? This is just my own definition. One. This is one way in which you can define it. B says suggest two ways in which plagiarism may be avoided. By giving recognition to the author. Yes, so you need to Give credit to, to your source. Very yeah. good. Our sources. So you are to reference your quotes and sources. Another way is to put the information in your own words. Right? Good. All right. So we're going to be looking at the other question. Another question. It says the picture below shows an office layout. Study the picture, then answer the questions that follow. So take a look at the picture and make note in your head or on paper. And then you're going to answer the questions that follow. All right. So what are the things that you notice? Um, everything that you not only that, it's in the walkway. You should not have it in the walk area. You have a drawer that is open. You notice a filing cabinet drawer is open that is hazardous. Somebody can trip over it and get hurt. 
The stool is there. Do we use a stool in a computer setting or in an office? We should have we should have an office chair. Yeah, a computer chair, right? The table is where is it? Yes. Right? You need correct this. It should be at a, a, an appropriate height and so on. I also think there is need for more sockets. So they could install more sockets or switches. Ah, why is the monitor way over there? Look at it on top of the filing cabinet. So the monitor needs to be in an appropriate place. Am I correct? The CPU is also on the floor. It shouldn't be. What else you notice? The printer looks like it's on a box. Is that a box? I'm not sure, but it looks like a box. The, 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 the CPU shouldn't even be beside a palm tree. It remember, it produces heat, so it shouldn't be beside a plant. In no time, that plant will die. What else do you notice? Chairs. What about the chairs? No. Well, if it's if it's talking about if it's talking about social dis distancing, no, it should be <laughs> six feet apart. But no, I don't see anything wrong there. Right? All right. I think the door is also, the desk is also too close to the door. That makeshift desk is also too close to the door. It looks like when you open the door, it will knock the desk over. Right? So these are the things I found. Inappropriate furniture, which are the stool and the desk. Open drawers in filing, a filing cabinet. Position of workstation by the door. It shouldn't be right by the door. Location of extension cards. should be in the walk area. Location of the printer by the window. Yes, if rain falls, it gets wet. So you shouldn't be putting a printer right at a window. And, it, and sunlight. Sunlight, too much sunlight, and it can be damaged, right? Lo location of the system next to the plant, like I said, it shouldn't be beside the plant. So the heat that is produced from it can kill the plant in, 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 in a short space of time. Location of monitor on the filing cabinet like you identified earlier. So it shouldn't be up there. It should be on a computer desk. B. B says, suggest three ways in which the work environment could be made more suitable in the office. And of course, we just talked about those. Right? So you could change the furniture to appropriate desk and chair. Get proper computer desk and chair. Close filing cabinet drawers. Right? Relocate the workstation from behind the door. You need to move it from behind the door. Ensure the extension cards do not run across the walk area. You know, people will trip over that and hurt themselves. Place all computer equipment in closer proximity. You can't have the monitor here on the left side, the printer there on the right side, the CPU in front on the floor. You understand? So you need to put them in one um, location or closer proximity. Move the monitor, printer, or CPU to be to a more appropriate location. Like the computer desk would be a more appropriate location. Right? Install more outlets or switches. That would be another recommendation. Number seven. Read the passage below, then answer the questions which follow. And you might be asking your question. This is English language. No, it's not. But it, when, you, when it comes on to document preparation and management, English comes into play. Yeah. Right. So you will find questions like these. The principal shared important advice about the increment inclement weather. It's important that each of you buy buys a raincoat umbrella or hat, he stated. He also noted that no parents would be allowed to go on the tour. Tell me now what are the answers or correct word that should be in each of the bracket sections. Which of the advice? The C or the S? Are you sure? The C. It's a C. All right, and the other one says increment or inclement weather. Increment. Increment weather? Inclement. inclement weather. So it should be 
I N C E C L E M E N T. It's not increment weather, it's inclement weather. By or by, oh, it's yes. or the one with the apostrophe one. S. One with apostrophe S. So it would be read, it is important that each of you, each of you buy or buys. Buy. Buys. Buys. Right. Each is speaking to one, right? Yes. Good. Uh, allow, which of the allowed is the correct spelling in this case? Allowed. A-L-L-O-W-E-D. Allowed, the other allowed is when you're like reading loudly. Out loudly, right? Good. Now, it will then ask you to rewrite it with the correct words and punctuate it properly. Now, in terms of punctuating it properly, someone is speaking. Not only a command full stop, something should be in quotation, open and close quotation mark. So the statements that he made are supposed to be in open and close quotation marks. So we should have commas and full stop in it. And full stop should be at the end, right there. Good? All right, so this is what I came up with when I rewrite it. So it should be read, the principal shared important notice about the inclement weather. In quotation, I have, it's important that each of you buys a raincoat, umbrella, or hat. Close the quotation and then put the comma, he stated. New sentence, he also noted that no parents would be allowed to go on the, on the tour, and then I have a full stop. All right. Number eight, communication is an important part of the day-to-day -day operations in a business. State three factors to be considered in selecting the best method of communication. You know, once it is talking about communication, it's talking about either oral, visual, or written. Yes. All right, anyway, so let us talk about the, the, the three now. Degree of urgency has to come in play. You have to think about that. That is very important. The genre of communication, and that could be whether it's going to be oral communication, written communication, or visual communication. The level of confidentiality is another. All right? The location is important because in different countries we have different time zones. So we need to know or bear in mind those things. So if it is that you're going to have a Zoom meeting, you have, we'd say, people from China, Japan, Netherlands, you have to take note of the time zone so you know exactly what time to tell them. To your time. Yes, yes. So it would be 8 a.m. in Jamaica, but maybe 8 p.m. in Netherlands. You are following? Yes. So you have to take that into consideration. That is very important. Right? Those are very important factors to consider when you select or when you are selecting the best methods of communication. Efficiency is another. <coughs> Cost is another. And effectiveness is another. How effective is it? How efficient is it going to be? Cost, cost, you know these days, is top priority. People take that one in, in, in particular, most important. You know, it's, it's one of the most important factors to consider. But these days, people are what, cutting down. Mm -hmm. They're cutting back on cost. So, of course, they have to take that into consideration. Yeah, number nine. Outline two desirable work habits that should be exhibited by all employees. Highlight, what did I say? Desirable work habits that should be exhibited by all employees. Highlight the benefits of each work habit to organizations. Right, so any of the three can go. Um, habit one, team spirit. Another bit, what is the benefit of team spirit? Working, Working in teams uh, helps the employees to get some tasks done more efficiently. 
And in a shorter time, you don't know everything. But you know, once you get opinions and feedbacks from others, it will be better. Yes. Happy too. Good grooming. What's the benefit when you dress properly? Good look. Good image. And yourself, not just a company, yourself. You give yourself a good look and an image, you know? So employees should always be tidy and suitably dressed. These projects are good image of the employee and the organization, as we said earlier. Another habit is punctuality. And what's the benefit of being punctual? Yes, you get your work done on time. You cover more work in the due time, in, in your specified time of work. Right? No time to waste. So it is important to be on time, especially when meetings have been scheduled. And the meeting gets to finish on time as well. So this ensures a full day, full work day, and avoid for your arrival. Good. Number 10. In the space provided, write what is meant by each manuscript sign shown below. Hmm. When you see the three straight lines, what does it mean? A line. A line. I usually it is to align to the left, right? Yeah. Most times. Sometimes people mix it up with the double line, the double slant line, which means to put it in a new paragraph. But look at the position in which they lie. Sometimes you will to see two straight lines, you know. But once it is straight, you know it means to align. Once it is slant, it means new paragraph. That now, I think it's a half a percentage sign. It means to delete. Very good. All right. I think that's it. Yes, that's it for 2015 past paper.